let's listen to our self-hating Uncle Ruckus, Jesse Lee Peterson over here. Let's see what he has about to say about uh, witchcraft and Black Lives Matter. I want to show you uh, another example of wickedness in high places, right? And I've been saying for a long time that Black Lives Matter is a far left liberal radical organization that was founded by radical black fat lesbians. Did I rather be part of a group founded by some uh, black lesbians than be part of a group uh, that's founded upon uh, white nationalism that you like to lean towards? i.e. the alt-right who hate God who hate men who Black hate... Life Matter is a joke! <laughs> That's right, see? Who hate the unborn children who hate anything that's good R Really? Really? That's probably, that's, that's you just projecting, dude And this whole idea of black lives matter they're just made up words in order to try to control you wait a minute black lives matter those three words are made up like they did not exist until uh the obama administration when the two founders created those three words well, I wonder what kind of reality this dude actually lives in. And uh, intimidate you and destroy what's good. This is from uh, News War. Black Lives Matter founder Melinda Abdullah and uh, Patrice Colors discuss the spiritual side of Black Lives Matter. Watch this. Um, and maybe I'm sharing too much, but we become very intimate with the spirits that we call on regularly, right? Like each of them seems to have a different presence and personality. You know, I laugh a lot with Waikisha, you know, and <laughs> I didn't meet her in her body, right? Yeah. I met her through this work. It's, it's, a, it's a very important practice. Um, hashtags are for us are way more than a hashtag it is um literally almost resurrecting a spirit so they can work through us to get the work that we need to get done <laughs> i started to feel personally connected and responsible and accountable to them um both from a deeply political place but also from a deeply spiritual place you know and in and, and my tradition you offer things that that your loved one who passed away would want, you know, um, whether it's like honey or tobacco, things like that. And that's, it's so important, not just for us to be in direct relationship to our people who've passed, but also for them to know they've, we've remembered them. Um, I, I believe so many of them work through us. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. There are black people with different uh, religious belief than Christian? Wow. That's so strange. It's like black people have different belief systems. Wow. I never knew that. Uh, but that's no different than uh, Christians talking about talking with Jesus and the angels and everything else. So I don't understand his real point besides the fact that he is a person who um, is unaccepting of people of different belief systems. Um, I'm an atheist. I don't really care about religion. I'm not religious. I'm for Black Lives Matter, but not for any religion, as I feel there are tools of oppression. But I'm not going to like freak out if uh, somebody tells me, oh, I have some kind of different belief system. And so y'all out there burning down, robbing, stealing, beating up, and killing, listening to these children of Satan? I told you. They're doing all that, but they're actually not. It's just 
something that uh, Jesse Lee Peter wants to uh, make up. Black Lives Matter is evil. There's nothing good about Black Lives Matter. And I'm stunned, not anymore, but I was, to see white young people out there following black evil people like this. Wow. Wow. You cannot understand why there's white people that's in support of equality for black people. That doesn't make any sense. But <coughs> he does consider them to be evil for wanting um, equality um, underneath the system, which is uh, a typical thing of the right. When oppressed groups of people want um, equality, they're evil for it. It only, I mean, it has to say that they're evil too. And you have Goodyear and others, Goodyear Tires and others who are following these evil people. They're listening to spirits that are coming from hell. And they just admitted it. <laughs> they're listening to spirits coming from hell. Oh, they got a different belief system. So the people that they, uh, Worship or automatically demons. Uh, see, this is just this is just what the Abrahamic religions do. Uh, the Christian religion being one of them. It's just a a tool used to demonize everybody else to create this us versus uh, us versus them mentality. So if you don't believe in Christianity, you're automatically an evil person. Uh, to people like the alt-right and the extreme Christian Republicans. Straight out of hell. It has nothing to do with God. It has nothing to do with good. And you have men. You have men following these evil women. I want you to hear that again, just in case you were not paying attention. These are evil women, and that's what they're talking about, folks. These spirits coming up in them is from hell. And you're out there, Black Lives Matter. Sounded just as dumb. Again, this is from News War Wars. Black Lives Matter founders, Melina Abdullah and Patrice Cullors, I had her on my show and she ran, by the way. She put her tail between her legs and ran. She's a coward because she's evil. There's no courage in evil. That's why they have to intimidate, threaten. They're violent. Patrice Cullen discussed the spiritual side of Black Lives Matter. Why? They're talking about evil spirits. Why? Well, this is from uh, News Wars. Um, and maybe I'm sharing too much, but we become very intimate with the spirits that we call on regularly. We're right? seeing. Like each of them seems to have a different presence and personality. You know, I laugh a lot with Waikisha, you know, <laughs> and I didn't meet her in her body. Right. right? You I met in hell. Through this work. It's, it's a, it's a very important practice. Um, Hashtags are for us are way more than a hashtag. It is um, literally almost resurrecting a spirit so they can work through us to get the work that we need to get done. I started to feel personally connected and responsible and accountable to them, um, both from a deeply political place, but also from a deeply spiritual place. You know, and 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 my tradition, you offer things that that your loved one who passed away would want, you know, uh, whether it's like honey that the or tobacco, stuff? things like that. And <laughs> Is that voodoo stuff? No, it just looked like food. God damn, dude. If people ain't worshiping white Jesus, like they're not good to you. Like what the fuck, dude? That looked like the That's, voodoo stuff to me. It's so important, not just for us to be in direct relationship to our people who've passed, but also for them to know they've, we've remembered them. Um, I, I believe so many of them work through us. All evil folks, pure evil. They just told you. It's up to you to accept it. 
Wow. They're pure evil for having different religious beliefs. Uh, this is what happens when you have crazy people uh, being able to have followers on the internet. They just keep spouting crazier and crazier shit. Uh, because people aren't evil just because they have a different religious belief. And the uh, American Sun is reporting, S-U-N, is reporting that here's where the American Sun described a cult-like atmosphere at the uh, GMZ. And GMZ is the George Floyd Memur uh, Memorial Zone in, in uh, Minneapolis with worshipers and satanic statues around. Why is this? No, it's just pictures. It's just pictures? Oh, no, you're right there. Uh, who's Whoa. Talk about some cult like behavior. Uh, sitting around paying some respects at a memorial. That is extremely evil. Who else does that? Uh, Christians when they go go to uh, grave sites or <coughs> some other memorial to pay respects to a past person. Oh, wow. Uh, more, uh, uh, baptism, uh, part of the Christian religion, uh, can be considered cult behavior. But this is no different than what Christians do. What just happened here is called reconciliation. <laughs> it means that we have decided that we're going to love each other. That we're going to be bold. That we're going to have hard conversations. <laughs> Fake Christianity. That's that weird statue. Amazing. And this is why y'all burning down America, right? Destroying statues and monuments and flags and kneel and you're supporting evil. Look, this is evil. And the Wow. Wow, this is evil. Having a memorial over a deceased person is, is like, evil it, uh, to Jordan, to Jesse Lee Peterson. Uh, I almost called him Jordan Peterson. Uh, um, man, how, how twisted can someone be to believe a memorial is evil? Um, it's just paying respects to a dead person it's it's the least evil thing you can actually do in a society because you're not harming anybody else fake christians out there carrying on the same thing they have not been born again of god these are pictures from it so y'all burning down an amazing country behind the children of the lie, behind evil. And I've said over and over again, if you want to destroy good, you can hire black. They are, they are more than happy to help you. Wow. If you want to destroy good, hire black. What does that say about him, though? He's a black man. Did somebody hire him to uh, speak ill of other black people? I wonder. They are more than happy to help you. This is why the black people want a one-way conversation about this phony idea of racism. I was thinking the other day about how Oprah was interviewing this white woman or having some type of discussion. And she's like, you've never been aware of white privilege until this book 
Oh, no, I wasn't aware. There's no such thing as white privilege. Uh, yes, there is. Some people are not aware of it because, uh, you know, they're, they don't have that much interaction um, or they don't see as much interaction, you know, with the way cops treat black people to actually be able to understand that their treatment uh, by cops in the system is comparably different than that of a black person. Um, so, yeah, some people can be aware, unaware of having white privilege, while other people are totally aware of it and uh, take full advantage of white privilege. Um, so, it's not really that confusing as to why some people would be unaware. Just think about the words themselves. You guys are burning down a country following evil black people. It's the darnest thing I've ever seen. And the world is of the Old Testament. It's not of good. Wait, the world is of the Old Testament? It's not of good? What is that supposed to mean? Does that mean he believes in the Old Testament more than the New Testament? I have no idea, actually. You heard Melania, uh, Melina says she laughed with spirits. Anybody tell me you she's laughing with he or she's laughing with spirit? I'm out of there. Okay, but if someone says I've been uh, talking to the angels, uh, you know Michael and Raphael and blah blah blah, and nobody it, Jordan uh, Jesse would not be batting an eye whatsoever. He's just trying to make something out of nothing, which is kind of hilarious. Okay, you can have him. What a wicked woman. She laughed with somebody named Washika, Wakisha. What's your name? Wa Washita? Wakisha. Wakisha. Not in her body. And you were listening to. No wonder guys that every time the man listens to the woman, he suffer. She's laughing with Wakika. Washika. <laughs> Not even in her body. It's a spirit. And then that woman, the other woman said that, Patrice said, oh. They're, they're dealing with dead spirits from people, people who died. And y'all burning down the country. White people firing other white people because they just agree with this. I don't, I don't, I don't really understand how he's connecting uh, these two people having their own belief systems with all of Black Lives Matter as well as uh, the injustices they're fighting against. Uh, but this is what happens when you got crazy people. Uh, well, not crazy. Um, well, extremely e um, irrational people uh, trying to uh, push their own narrative. Because... Uh, Pretty much everything that this dude says is pretty much a lie. A journalist by the name of uh, Andy No, he is the um, editor for the Post Millennial, and Andy has extensively documented Antifa and noted that there are, there are a lot of transgender people. Did you know that there are a lot of transgender people in Antifa? Of course. Oh, wow. Another group of oppressed people fighting against people looking to oppress them. That is so surprising, really. To end and know a lot of trans, all evil folks. Look at that. Transgender folks. 
Everybody want to wear a dress because they hate mama. They want to be like mama. Amazing. And y'all burning down the country. Y'all burning down the city following Antifa and Black Lives Matter. Amazing. It's, and this is happening around the world, not just in America, because evil is around the world. And who's leading the way around the world? Black people. <laughs> well, well, <coughs> wow. Black people are, <coughs> wow. Oh my God, really? So, black people around the world or has gotten everybody to want to burn down stuff be because they're just evil and not because there's a bunch of injustices which that's not even happening uh, i mean god that's just fucking hilarious though man uh, sometimes i want to talk to this guy in person just so i can laugh like straight in his face indiscretion now, prove to me that most, not all, not all, not all, not all, but most black people are not of evil. Wow. You, uh, wow. Prove to me that not all, but most black people are evil. Wow. Hmm. Prove it to me. And then I'll rest my case. But until then, I'm telling you the truth. No, you're not. You're just making up a bunch of racial fucking bullshit. Prove to me that most black people are evil. Uh, that's not even something that could truly be proven or fucking makes any sense whatsoever, in my opinion. That's like saying, prove to me that most white people are evil or most Arabs, or whatever, or evil or not evil, whatever. Um, and just more proof that Jesse Lee Peterson is just a straight-up racist. Yes, you can have black people that are racist towards black people. Uh, and Jesse Lee Peterson is a fine example of that. He is an alt-right supporter. He does support white supremacy, namely white Christian supremacy. <laughs>